So over the past couple weeks, I've seen you guys request this video several hundred times. The OnePlus 3T and the Sony Xperia XCS. So I get it, you guys want to see the best of the best, so let's get started. Yeah, I actually thought that I'd already done this video. Uh, I was a bit surprised I haven't, but saw you guys kept commenting about it. Decided to check it out and saw I had not done it yet. But yeah, this is an incredibly exciting matchup because both these phones are extremely, extremely fast. Uh, possibly the two fastest out of the ones I own, at least two out of three, I think. All right, so you guys will see the one plus is going to be the first one to boot up. Up now. Now the Sony is newer, and you guys see Sony is rolled up. Uh, though the one plus does a better internal specs. So on the Sony, you have the Snapdragon 20 and 4GB RAM. On the one plus, Snapdragon 21 and 6GB RAM. So a quick look at the design of the phones. Now, it's very large screen on the one plus 5.5 inches versus 5.2 for Sony, both for 1080p. You got excellent front facing cameras in both, so 16 megapixels on the one plus, 13 on the Sony. Now, one plus fingerprint scanner is located right here, and on Sony on the side right here. Look at the bottom, so you got USB C on both, and the side, and then the top, and the other side. And then look at the back. So pretty nice designs on both. You got metal builds. And then you got 19 megapixel rear facing camera on the Sony. 16 on the one plus. Alright guys, so here we go. All the apps closed out on both. So let's start with Dump Run 2. Very high stakes here. Now I do expect the games to go to one plus with the Snapdragon 21 advantage. So yeah, it looks like one plus gonna take this one by about a second or two. Let's go and test out more basic apps. Uh, and you guys are going to notice I did switch out a couple apps. So when you guys are complaining about the most slowest ones. So instead of NBC News, you now have BBC News. Alright, so Van is there for the Sony. I funny next. Van is there for OnePlus. YouTube. Alright, advantage there for Sony. Pretty close match so far. Neck and neck. Calculator. And quack. That looked like one uh one plus. Alright, eBay next. Alright, so Sony there. Again, very, very close matchup. As for eight, this one should go to the one plus, we'll see. So yeah, both these phones extremely well optimized. Yeah, one plus here. Definitely two of the top ones in the world for optimization. Uh, CBS Sports next. All right, so that was Sony to fully load up first. Next up, we got photos. All right, one plus there. All right, guys, so app opening, very, very neck and neck. Let's test out more stuff. And I think that was one plus there for settings. All right, so into the benchmark. All right, guys, so very high scores on both, but you do see higher score in the one plus, 162,000 versus 153. And I think for one plus, that's the second highest on Android behind the, uh, behind the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. All right, let's Chrome next. Alright guys, so we're going to go to these sites, let's go to imdb.com first. Alright, so Vans here for Sony. Let's do Zelda.com next. Alright, so again, Vans here for Sony. Let's do Nintendo. Nintendo.com. I think that was a slight advance for Sony, though pretty close. Uh, let's do Yahoo. Yahoo.com. All right, so again, looking like the Sony, uh, there should be an ad voting up here on the OnePlus. All right, guys, so I actually did eventually vote here on the OnePlus. Let's do one more. 
Uh, let's do MLS.com. So this is a site that I have not been to on either one. I know you guys want to see some sites I've not been to. All right, MLS.com. All right, pretty close on both. I think it's a little hard to tell which one won. All right, everyone, so next up, we got some camera speed tests and bring the cactus back in. There's a nice look at it for you guys who have not seen it yet. All right, so for this, just going to be testing out the speed of the cameras. All right, guys, so just to make sure to focus on both. And just test out speed. Yeah, so it looks like the Sony a tiny bit faster taking pictures, but you're not talking much of a difference at all. And sometimes one plus a little faster. Now for the fingerprint scanner, um, I have the American version of the Sony. So unfortunately it is not enabled on this, but it is on the side. Now on the OnePlus, the fingerprint scanner on this is incredible. Let me just show you guys how this works. Yeah. <laughs> you really cannot get much better than that. Insane fingerprint scanner on OnePlus. Now if you're American and you really want the fingerprint scanner, what you can do is root the phone uh, and then get the UK firmware and then you can get the fingerprint scanner that way. We secondly, it still is built into our hardware. It's just software limitation for the American firmware. All right, guys, so obviously this has been an awesome matchup so far. Uh, we got one final test, and that's the multitasking. So before that, I'm going to run off the specs real quick. So 5.5-inch screen on the OnePlus, 5.2 for the Sony, both for 1080p. Front-facing camera both is excellent. On Sony, you have 13-minute uh, pixels on OnePlus 16. Rear-facing camera, but for the Sony, a little bit here, although both are great. So on the Sony, 19-minute pixels on OnePlus 16. Uh, internal storage on OnePlus 64, 120 gigabytes on the Sony 3264. Now, Sony does have micro SD card support, OnePlus does not. Snapdragon 821, 6 gigabytes of RAM for the OnePlus, Snapdragon 820, 4 gigabytes of RAM for the Sony. Sony does have stereo speakers and waterproofing, which OnePlus does not. Uh, both fingerprint scanners, both USB Type C, and the most it covers it. Alright, guys, so first up, we got Tempur Very high stakes here. All right, so interesting. You see here on the OnePlus, it is reloading it. Um, and I did wait a few hours, actually, before doing the multitasking. Uh, just want to see if that did affect it. I know some of you guys are saying that you should wait a few hours, uh, lock the phones, see if they still reload it. But as you see, in this case, Sony does not, and OnePlus does. See, I think it's been around, I think around two hours or so. All right, BBC News next. All right, so very, very fast on both. I funny. Maybe a tiny edge there for the one plus. Uh, YouTube next. All right, so you guys saw one plus there. eBay. All right, so I think that was one plus also. That's 48. All right, so that one going to the Sony. All right, guys, so next up we got Chrome. Very, very fast on both. CBS Sports. All right, so this one is reloading on the OnePlus, not on the Sony. Photos. Neck and neck. And there's a few more. Camera. And to do. Settings. All right, next up, let's go ahead and I guess we'll reboot Temper on two. 
So yeah, you guys see this time, neither phone erodes it, but I guess if you do whack the one plus for a few hours, we'll erode it. All right, and just one or two more. Let's just do the basic ones, calculator. And last one, let's just be consistent with the clock. All right, guys, so obviously this is an awesome, awesome matchup, very close. Now, before I go over the results, just want to real quick uh, say three things I like about each phone over the other one. So with the OnePlus 3T, first and foremost, it is a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the Sony. So we'll be saving some money on the OnePlus. Also, I like the OnePlus as a Snapdragon 21. Um, now, in terms of daily use, that won't affect it much, but in terms of gaming, it will. So we'll get a little bit, uh, little bit better game performance on the OnePlus. And finally, the battery on the OnePlus is a little bit better. Uh, so as I mentioned, 3400 capacity versus 2900. So aside from size, it is just better in real world use. So next up, three things I like about the Sony. Uh, so first of all, definitely better camera on there, rear facing. Um, so this includes things like 960 frames per second slow motion. Definitely better for taking pictures and videos as well. Better stabilization, things like that. Uh, we'll have comparisons on the channel, but just know I do prefer the Sony camera. Also, I love that the Sony has micro SD card support. Again, the OnePlus is not. And this is something that, for me especially, I, I just like using the micro SD card across multiple phones. So very easy to transfer all my files. And finally, the last thing is the waterproofing. Uh, so I do love using the camera, I use it quite a bit. And that includes stuff like if I'm going to be filming in the rain, uh, if I want to go to the beach, go to the pool, record some stuff underwater. Uh, very, very cool feature there on the Sony. All right, guys, so obviously an extremely close matchup. Now, the phones did win in certain categories. For example, OnePlus did win with the games, better benchmark, better boot up time as well. However, the Sony did win some things like camera speed, web browsing, uh, possibly multitasking as well, though that was pretty close. I think, though, overall, the test was very, very close. Now, in terms of which phone I think is better, um, so personally, my favorite thing about phones is usually taking pictures, taking videos. Um, so for that reason, I do prefer the Sony. However, if you're more into games and if you want to save some money, I think OnePlus is a better option for you. Now guys, stay tuned to the channel because I do have the Sony Xperia X Premium coming pretty soon. Uh, that's going to be very exciting. That's Snapdragon 835, 4 gigabytes RAM, uh, and also 4K screen. So I think it's going to be an awesome matchup for these two phones and all the other ones on the channel. In addition, we'll have more comparisons between these two phones, going to battery life, camera test some more. So if you guys want to check all that out, make sure you don't miss anything, click on the top left corner. Or if you want to catch more videos right now, click in the bottom right. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.